Look at how easy this comes off. <laughs> it just ripped off. Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. Today I'll be talking about how I print this box in this orientation with no custom support from the CAD software that I use but on Orca Slicer. Let's scratch today's topic. Okay, so if you saw my previous video where I talk about how you can print stuff like this at 45 degree angle with no like massive support at the back, this is gonna be similar but different. From that video, if you haven't seen it, I will leave a link up here or in the description down below. From that video, you're supposed to model the support from the backing like this on your CAD software, which from the one I use is Fusion 360. So you gotta go in Fusion 360, you gotta orientate your piece like this, you gotta 3D model all the supports at the back here, and sometimes it's quite hard for people to do that. I sometimes struggle doing that, so I found a better way how you can do this on Orca Slicer. Look at how easy this comes off. <laughs> it just ripped off. You basically just rip the brim off. And boom, you got your perfect box or whatever you're trying to print. And all of it looks amazing. The bottom portion here, right? It has this sharp edged corner. Well, you can easily get rid of that by just... This is a deburn tool. And how you use it is you pull it towards yourself. You don't push it away. It doesn't work. I try and it doesn't work. So you just pull it towards yourself. And look at that. It gives a clean cut with no little debris all over the place. It just gives a really clean cut. The second side. <laughs> and look at that, how easy that comes off. Let's jump into Orca Slicer and I'll show you exactly how you can do this very easily. Okay, I have the box right here. So if we were to print it just like this, right? And if you model the box like this, you have overhang all over the place right there. Those blue things are overhangs and it's very bad. So how would you fix this? Well, if you want to and make your box uniform and print at about 45 degree angles, you will have less overhang angle and everything will be uniform throughout the whole boxes. So how would you add this support at the back so that it doesn't tip over? Well, you go back to this view, go to support painting at the tools up here, click that. Then this is gonna pop up. Now, let's use that 3D cube so that we can face this plane like this. We will just use the default circle, pen size one and just leave everything default. So ideally when you are modeling on Fusion 360 or any CAD software that you use, you model something that holds your 3D printed part down so that it does not tip over which is at the bottom part here so all we do here is just paint this portion try to make this as straight as you can there we go that seems pretty straight to me let's go back and click slice and look at that forecast slicer automatically generates a tree support for us in that specific area so this is going to help this box from tipping over and you will just automatically generated for you. You don't have to model it on your CAD software if you don't know how to. So the setting, enable supports, I do tree manual and just leave everything basically default. Um, I like tree better than normal because if you do normal, it's gonna look like that and I don't know, it actually looks pretty decent but I just use tree and I just like using tree so that's what I use from this point onward. And yeah, that is exactly how you do this. You know, print the box or anything at 45 degree angles if you have overhang it will kind of reduce the overhang and one more thing that you actually need is if we look at the other here let's go to brim types uh, i'm gonna do outer brim only do a brim width of eight millimeters and brim object gap 0 0.05 because it doesn't really matter the goal here is just to make the box sticks so that we can print this at a 45 degree angle and even if uh, the brim is almost stuck to the 3d printed part we can just use the deburring tool and just get rid of it easily we want at least eight millimeters so that it holds down the printed part onto the build plate instead of falling over halfway there because that is very bad that's basically how you can get this printed orientation on orca slicer easily without modeling anything at the back in your CAD software if you don't know how to do that because that is kind of difficult i tried a couple times and did kind of fail sometimes it's way too small sometimes it's way too big so this is a very good alternative way of doing it and it performs almost exactly the same which is crazy right let me know in the comments down below have you tried this method of printing stuff like this using supports from orca slicers that you can paint on it which is so crazy that's amazing i love it and yeah that's exactly how 
you can print stuff at 45 degree angle or higher and just do it on orca slicer very easily with just minimal effort and yeah let me know if you like this method or not thank you so much for 1000 subscribers on the youtube channel as always keep on 3d printing